high-level consultative meeting of the Summit of ESC Heads of State on the peace process in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, held in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, on the 7th of November, 2022. The East African Community Heads of State, Their Excellencies, President Evaris Ndaishimye of the Republic of Burundi, President Paul Kagame of the Republic of Rwanda, President Samia Suluhu Hassan of the United Republic of Tanzania, President Dr. William Samoyi Ruto of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable, Honorable Jean-Michel Samalukonde Kienje, Prime Minister representing HE President Felix Antoine Chisekedi of the Re Democratic Republic of Congo held a high-level consultative meeting of the Summit of ESC Heads of State on 7th November 2022 in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, in a warm and cordial atmosphere. The chairperson of the summit welcomed the heads of state to the meeting and confirmed to have engaged with all the heads of state who expressed their commitment to the ESC peace process in Eastern DRC and recorded apologies for those not in attendance. The heads of state offered condolences to H.E. Samia Suluhu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and to the families of those involved in the tragic air accident in Bukoba, United Republic of Tanzania, on the 6th day of November, 2022. The heads of state further wished a quick recovery to those admitted in hospital. The, head, the heads of state congratulated President Dr. William Ruto of the Republic of Kenya on his election and assumption of office of President of the Republic of Kenya and commended the people for, of Kenya for holding peaceful elections. The high-level meeting commended H.E. Uhuru Kenyatta for accepting the role of facilitating the peace process in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo and for his leadership and efforts in re-energizing the peace process. The high-level meeting took note that the force headquarters of the Joint Regional Force of the East African Community in Eastern DRC has been established in Goma and that a regional force commander has been appointed and assumed duties. The summit decided that each partner state will deploy a liaison officer at the force headquarters to support the regional command center. The heads of state took note and commended the republics of Burundi, Kenya, and Uganda who have already deployed forces in line with the agreed framework and urged the Republic of South Sudan to complete the deployment. The heads of state took note of the operationalization of the ESC peace facility to support the ESC-led Nairobi process and deeply appreciated the chairperson of the African Union and President of the Republic of Senegal, H.E. Macky Sall, and the chairperson of the International Conference on the Great Lakes region and President of the Republic of Angola, H.E. Jao Lorenzo for demonstrating solidarity with the East African community through contribution to the ESC Special Fund for the implementation of the peace process. The heads of state appreciated the partner states of Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, and United Republic of Tanzania for their commitment to contribute to the ESC Special Fund for the implementation of the peace process and urged all partner states to sustainably support the facility. The heads of state reviewed the recent developments in North Kivu, particularly the resurgence of violence and called for cessation of hostilities to give chance to the political negotiations due to commence from 16th November 2022 in Nairobi, Kenya. The heads of state took note of the brief of the meeting between the chairperson of the ESC summit and the ESC facilitator on the peace process in Eastern DRC, which took place on the 4th of November in Mujumbura, Republic of Burundi. The heads of state took notice of the support for the decision of the 22nd Ordinary Summit of ESC Heads of State in, on Eastern DRC by the AU Peace and Security Council at its 11030 meeting held on the 31st of August 2022 
and the 16th annual joint consultative meeting between the African Union Peace and Security Council and the United Nations Security Council held on the 14th of October, 2022. The heads of state reaffirmed the mutually reinforcing mandates and the complementarity role of the Luanda and ESC-led peace processes and urged consideration of a possibility to harmonize both processes and a final decision will be made during the proposed peace summit. The heads of state reaffirmed the need for coordination and creation of synergy between Force Intervention Brigade and the East African Regional Force for, for sustainability of achieving peace in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. The heads of state agreed to appoint a technical advisor from each partner state to support the facilitator of the ESC peace process. The heads of state reaffirmed their commitment to a political solution as the only sustainable path to security in Eastern DRC and underscored the need for inclusivity through the participation of all stakeholders in the political process. The heads of state commended the chairperson of the summit of the ESC heads of state for convening the consultative meeting in the margins of the United Nations framework on climate change. UNFCCC COP27 to assess and deliberate on the security situation in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo.